now let's welcome Greg Brown. And I'm thinking of you 
I get so happy and I get so blue. I don't know what we're gonna do, but it's nice when it rains. When we should be kissing, seems like we're fussing and fighting. And you say you don't know why, and I say, I don't know why. You drive me crazy. With all the things you do and do not do. But I love it so much. I'm gonna drive you crazy too. <laughs> We're like that mythological beer Pushing the stone up the hill If we don't get over pretty soon I don't think we ever will You drive me crazy With all the things you do and do not do Yeah But I love you so much I'm gonna drive you crazy Is it the way you look right past me with your hands up on your hips? Is it the little twinkle in your eye or the little sneer up on your lips? You drive me crazy with all the things you do and do not do. I love you so much. I'm gonna drive. Should have married someone a whole lot more like you. You could drink coffee in little Chi Chi cafes and go out shopping too. <laughs> I should have married someone who likes to camp and fish and make love for two days straight. And you say, Ah, oh, yeah, don't you wish? <laughs> Crazy. With all the things you do and do not do. So much, I'm gonna drive you crazy too. Skill about the body, but you can't get it. I love you, but you can't get it. Skill about the body, but you can't get it. Skill about the body, but you can't get it. Skill about the body, but you can't get it. Skill about the body, but you can't get it. Skill about the body, but you can't get it. Skill about the body, but you can't get it. Skill about the body, but you I never see my kids about to go to the party when they tell me I miss the band. Well, now I love to sit beside you when the storm is past. We don't know what happened, but this sweet piece of land will be all right for a while. Someday we'll be free. Even if we both still live positive, let your face be the last one I see you driving crazy with all the things you do and do not do. But I love you so much, I'm gonna drive you crazy too. I'm gonna drive you crazy too. I'm 
wanna drive you crazy too. Now, gonna do my best to drive you crazy tonight. I got the champagne for the bathroom and do my best to drive me crazy. Oh, yes. You drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, that was your love song. I'll sing a little uh, fishing song. Uh, this is a song I wrote for a friend of mine, a guy named Bill Morrissey. He's uh, from uh, New Hampshire. Uh, folk singers, singer, songwriter, type of guy. You know, uh, we both like to fish. Uh, we both like to fly fish. Fly fishing is one of those things, you know, it's like a lot of things in life, I guess. If, if you like to do it, you just like to do it. So, a lot of things in life that way. And if you don't like to do it and you see somebody doing it, you think, what's the matter with them? <laughs> Why can't they just fish? <laughs> I don't know, I don't get it myself, you know, I, I have moments of clarity, little windows of clarity in my obsession like uh, most of us do. Sometimes I'm out there you know, on, a, on a cold river uh, in the, up in Michigan, um, cold day in the spring and I've waded through that bad mud to get out to the river, that blue mud, that old, old mud, you know, that suck mud, it makes that bad sound and it's that bad color when you step into it. It's old mud. It was here a lot longer than we've been here. And it will be here a long time after we're gone. It's not real thrilled that we're here, I don't think. You step into it, it makes this kind of groany, wet, sucking sound. Like, oh, good, another one. <laughs> Wait through that mud, get out to the river. It's cold, you know. It's, it's really a little bit early to be fishing, but uh, I gotta get out there. It's cold, I wait out. In the river I discovered I got a leak in my waders. <laughs> that spot there. I think, well, I've already got three children. <laughs> Standing out there in cold, icy water. Casting with my big rod. I got all this stuff hanging from me. Got my hat and all this gear. My big fly right. I'm laying my little fly, little tiny, tiny fly on that tiny stuff. Laying it out there. Reading the current, reading the wind. You know. I feel like I'm doing my part. <laughs> but I see the trout coming up for the real bugs. <laughs> my little fly just floats around. I don't think that's fair, really. I, mean, uh, I think of them as like British trout, you know, upper crust British trout. They call the trout the aristocrats of the fish world. And, uh, that's what I think of those trout as, like British. Kind of hoity toity <laughs> trout, you know, my little fly floats through there. I can almost hear him down there in the water. My little fly floats over and they go, Oh, I hardly think so. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I suppose it's rather amusing. <laughs> the bastard probably tied it himself, I reckon. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Nigel, why don't you uh, have one of the chubs go up and just bump it? Bump it new. New sort of thing. Oh, God. It's hard, you know, but I, I like it. I like it. And Bill, Bill likes it. And uh, we, you know, we talked a lot of times about going fishing like you do. But uh, we never actually went. And then finally last spring we went you know, fishing. And so to commemorate this momentous occasion, I wrote this little song for Bill. Oh 
mind what a wonder. Sorrow widely. Is it just the media industry or the whole country that is turning into sheep? I wanna go to a good place with a friend of mine. Cast our souls out in the river and watch the whole deal shine. Some little creek in Massachusetts, just over the hill of I going fishing with Bill. Bill, I bet he is a good fly caster. He grew up on these eastern brooks. Me, I grew up on the midwestern creeks, casting crappy flies for chubs and such. But in my young imagination, I watched the number 20 coachman settle down. Sitting by the stove in that little library reading Roderick Cape Brown. I never did fish in Scotland. I probably never will. I don't care. I'm going fishing with Bill. <laughs> well, it's a long and noble tradition. Catching trout on a fly. When you're done at the setting of the sun, well, just drink a little bourbon if you're dry. See some folks out on the river, cool, scientific, and clean. They look like everything just kind of stuck to them the last time they walked through old L.L.B. <laughs> well, but my friend Dave says, good fishermen are the ones who have fun, and we will. Oh, I go on fishing with Bill. Sitting in a bar in Brattleboro, thinking about one of your songs. The rain was pouring down and I was pouring down and all I could do was hum along. We talked about going fishing so often, at some party when the gig was done. Well, life slides by like a little dry fly slipping down a deep slip run. So let us stand steady, like an old mill wife, going fishing with Bill. Maybe handsome Molly will pass by As we cast away the hours Somewhere on a river Somewhere far away from stupid people And positions of power and Someday when we ain't folk singers Flying through the friendly skies We won't be waiting for A big break or anything Except the evening rise On some spring creek in Wisconsin Or maybe the bat and kill Oh I Going fishing with Bill I'm going fishing with Bill. No, uh uh, I'm going fishing with Bill. Oh, yeah, I'm going fishing with Bill. I'm going fishing with Bill. Mm -hmm, I'm going. Fishing. You know, Bill, I think if we just try to. A little caddis pattern, a little olive uh, caddis pattern, right over. See where that clump of grass sticks up there? Over on the other side of the creek there? Yeah, right there. I got a feeling there's about a three pound rainbow just laying back on it. Just you go ahead and cast, just drift a little caddis pattern. We need to catch uh, one trout, Bill. I'm hungry. I don't know about you. Bill. <laughs> need to get this one trout here. I mean, I know we're both catching with these guys, but if we just caught one trout, we could eat it, couldn't we? Just so we could sustain ourselves, so there'd be a couple of good ecologically minded catching with these guys still around to help out with the situation. <laughs> I'm not complaining about getting lost today, Bill. It's not that. There's a lot of parts of Massachusetts I never saw before. It's, it's been a good day. I learned a lot. It's just Late, we need to catch one trout on the grill. Mm -mm -mm -mm, I'm going fishing with Bill. I'm going fishing with Bill. I'm going fishing with Bill. Thanks a lot. Uh, Bill, Bill will get out this way one of these days. I don't, I don't know if he's played out here too much yet, but uh, he's heading this way. Just have a feeling. <laughs> well, I'm very happy to be back here in Missoula. It's uh, one of my favorite towns that I play in. Uh, always had a good time here since the first time that I played above the department store. <laughs> And won all that money in the barn. I didn't even know what I did. <laughs> I 
walked down to the bar before the gig. Uh, I was on some long flying tour. I didn't even know where I was, hardly. And uh, I walked down to a bar, and, uh, and there was a machine there. I, was, I put some quarters in it, pushed some buttons. And they printed out this thing. I won like 50 bucks. I didn't even know what I'd done. I thought, this, this sounds all right so far. <laughs> I've always been glad to get back here. Last time I was here was last spring with uh, Peter Astorushko and uh, Dean McGraw, who plays guitar with him. I had a great time that time, too. I, for some reason, I had a day off the next day after the gig, which is rare for me uh, when I go on tour. But I had a day off, and I, and I thought, what a town. I went down to the pawn shops here, and you could buy a fly rod in the pawn shop. I couldn't believe it. So I did. I bought a fly rod and a fly reel and a little box of flies, all for eight bucks at a pawn shop. And I went up into the mountains. I heard people were fishing already. I went up into, I can't remember the name of the creek. It's about maybe 30 miles. Rock Creek. Rock Creek is in it. Beautiful little river. I went up there and saw a lot of uh, wildlife. And, uh, and I caught two trout. I didn't plan on catching anything. But, uh, I, I did. <laughs> so I like Missoula. <laughs> I had one request uh, before the uh, show started here. This is a uh, more songs about buildings and food. People want that fast food, two minutes in the garage, but give me hand it all day long, and help me to the couch, help me to the sofa, put some quiet music on, I lie and think about that ham, long after it is gone, I want some slow. Food with funny names, no neon on a sign. A man can't live on advertising slogans and conceptual design. Let somebody else go surf on the turf. Somebody else can go carry out. I want my food to know itself. Before it knows my mouth, I want it so. time for love we can homemade hot fresh bread make the whole house smell like an oven and let it all just simmer cooking those good juices and the greases we'll sit down at the table baby and just kind of slowly tear it into pieces i'm talking about the slow oh. Slow food with all the love. You can have low salt, low fat, low cholesterol, light, low this, low it won't do any good if you're in it. Love cooked it to nourish yourself. It's the bite of that. Slow. I ain't talking about that heart, heart, it heart is on it. I don't want to get windy to win this baby. I want some I don't want to trick a burger to Royal Rogers, honey. No, I want some I ain't talking about the muck, 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 mu
chef, I'm not a clown to fix me up. <laughs> Slow. Crying about a spoon for him, dying for a spoon for him. Slow old. Oh, mm, I want a spoon for that. Slow old. Oh, Doing much good as two, three places instead of two to three places. Spoon for that. Slow old. Oh, with all the love could be. Slow old. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you can hear everything okay. My ears are kind of plugged up from uh, uh, driving. I drove from the Tri Cities today. Uh, Kennewick, uh, Pasco, and I forget the other one. Richland. Yeah, yeah, charming area. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I went up and down a lot, up and down, up and down. I seem to uh, have sensitive ears, which I sometimes I'm thankful for. And uh, <laughs> the times bopping around. Uh, but I mean, I've heard most of the stuff before. So, <laughs> if you can hear it, then we're okay. Well, we had some food, I guess we better have some coffee too. I like coffee, I like tea. I like Java, 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 Java likes me. Coffee and the tea, and the Java, Java and me. Cup, a 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 cup. Bring you your good morning coffee. Could you smile, smile, smile? If not now, then have a sip or two, and maybe in a while you can smile. By 
evening I'm in deep despair, wake up the next day I'm okay again. I know it's kind of the opposite of you, my love, which is probably why we get along as well as we do. But you know what I did this morning? I heard that alarm clock go off. I know you didn't, but I didn't. I went running out to the chili kitchen and I made you some coffee. Even though I'm kind of an Earl Grey type of guy myself. I like a little tea with lemon in it. Coffee seems like a bitter way to start a bitter day in a bitter world. But I know you love coffee and that's what love is all about. Learning to love what your lover loves. Well, these people say, well, that's nice. I understand where you're coming from on that. Well, in spite of the way this song sounds, my love, I did not make you that coffee in a percolator. You know I wouldn't do this. I know that's low tech brew. It just won't do. I used the number six millimeter filter. I used the four through cone. I used those good dark French roast beans. Expensive, greasy little buggers. I used them though. I got them out of the freezer where they were in the little plastic wrap so the little bean cells would be happy. I got them out. I measured them out into a little red grinder thing that sounds like a factory inside your mind when you turn it on. I ground it up, not too coarse, not too fine, guaranteed to help you rise and shine with some good stuff. I put in a nip of half of that because I know you like that. If you could just sit up now. Let's try and open your left eye. Let's just work on that left eye. Get your old factory and pass it this old. Get away with the stuff. Life's gonna be alright somehow, baby. It will be, it will be. Is your coffee, Mr. It is freshly, freshly rude And I'll just pour myself a cup And then I will crawl in with, in with you Oh, baby Up 
on the roof and we could see the lights in the little towns. We could watch the August stars come down, the shooting stars, the meteorites. Yeah, we went on a ride through the sky that night and oh, if I had known, I'd do it all over again. Well, now some things just get better and better than that. It's been a pretty good tour. This is my last night uh, out on this little run. I started over on the coast of Washington and Oregon. Played in Seattle and uh, Portland and Eugene and Vancouver. And then I came across the mountains to Omak <laughs> and the Tri Cities. I think I might have forgot a town or two in there, but. Uh, it's been pretty good. It was actually uh, sunny on the coast, uh, which uh, that was kind of surprising this time here. And uh, pretty warm too in the uh, in the Columbia River Valley, if we can call it that. Uh, people were pretty shocked at how warm it was. There. It was 60 instead of 50, so I was not really that impressed myself. <laughs> uh, I went to the Grand Coulee Dam for the first time. I had never seen it before. It looked remarkably ugly to me. <laughs> I kept thinking how pretty that falls must have been. And I kept thinking to myself, I bet there was more real power in the old falls than there's there now. Anyway, it's a little spring song. I lived a while without you Darn near half my life I no longer see our unborn children Run to you, my unwed wife Yesterday I had a vision Beneath the tree where we once talked Of an old couple burning their love letters So their children won't be shot Love calls like the wild birds It's another day The spring wind blew my list Of things to do away My friends are getting older So I guess I must be too Without the loving kindness, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, the wine bottle's half empty. The money is all spent, and we're a cross between our parents. And hippies in a tent, love falls <laughs> like the wild birds. It's another day. The spring wind blew my list of things to do away. In a mucked up lovely river, I cast my little fly. I look at that river and smell it. Makes me want to cry, oh, to clean our dirty planet. Now there's a noble witch, and I'm putting my shoulder to the wheel. Cause I want to catch some fish, love calls like the wild birds. It's another day. A spring wind blew my list of things to do. Your children go to sleep now No, it's getting late I know you don't like to miss nothing School ain't that great Oh, I'll dance with you when you're happy And hold you when you're sad And 
Hope you know how glad I am Just to be your dead love calls Like the wild birds It's another day A spring wind blew my list of things to do Away Darling, it's been a hard go But I think we'll be okay I know I say that all the time Like everything else I say Oh, I've been gone so often But every time I miss you I don't really know nothing Except I like to kiss you Love calls like the wild birds It's another day The spring wind blew my list of things to do Away It's just uh, days. It's just uh, days. Not not wonderful days. Not horrible days. It's days. It's a lot of our life. It's a lot of what the deal is, and it's all right. It's a lot of what we do. Just one of these deals, roughly a biped, uh, doing what we have to do that day. And that's a lot of life, you know. One of these, with just a few little variations. <laughs> that we've made so much. Uh, I don't know how we pulled that one. You know. Uh, but that's a lot of life, and it's a good thing, really. E ecstasy and despair, both so exhausting. <laughs> we need both, you know, that's part of the deal. We have to go up and go down. It's all right. It's all right. It's part of, part of what we do. Uh, it's a little harder to figure out that we need uh, despair. Uh, when you're in ecstasy, not too many people say, but geez, do I really need this? <laughs> Whereas, yeah, when you're in despair, you, you do, you say, why me? You know, why, why am I so down? Why, what's going on? You know, what's wrong? And you try and figure it out, and you don't, but then you feel better. <laughs> but, uh, that's, a, that's a lot of life. It's uh, just uh, the time in between there. Where you're not, you're not part of the cosmic web of atoms strung out in resonant harmony <laughs> across space, reverberating to the emanations from the source. <laughs> but you're not a little piece of stuff on the sidewalk either. <laughs> it's one of these deals. Yeah, but don't want to have to do that, Dan. That's fine. It's all right. Sometimes you're just doing the, that, though, and somebody says the wrong thing to you. Somebody, somebody wants you to cheer up. <laughs> somebody thinks you're not happy enough. Uh, somebody says, what's the matter with you? Can't you smile a little bit? <laughs> Mr. Heavy? <laughs> Can you cheer up a little bit? Just turn up the corners of your mouth. If you smile, you'll feel better inside. Come on, just give me a smile. And you just look at him, because you don't feel bad. You're just doing what you have to do, you know. Just look at him. And they get a little miffed, and they say, uh, you're feeling sorry for yourself, aren't you? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people in this world that have it a lot worse than you do. <laughs> and if you just sit there and feel sorry for yourself, it's really it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> well, there you go. You go from just doing what you have to do and having a day to a little piece of stuff on the side. <laughs> it's because somebody said the wrong thing, like this. I've been up on it all night long It felt right now, it feels wrong I just wanna feed my misery The world news and some black coffee I don't wanna have a nice day <laughs> Well I wish that you would not say that to me that way I don't wanna have a nice day I think that somebody unscrewed my head I know I look like an unmade bed You know when I feel this way What it is is what I say 
And I was that you would not say that to me that way. I don't want to have a nice day. I can remember a little restaurant, you know, somewhere down around Chicago. She threw that whopper right in my face. And she said, Have a nice day. I said, I don't want to have a nice day. And I wish that you would not say that to me that way. I don't want to have a nice day. I want to weep, I want to sleep, I want to bite sheep, I want to creep into the deep, I want to fall down in a heap, I'm going to do it right on your floor, you said that two minutes once more, you left to roll me right out the door, yeah, give me the old what for, I can remember what the people did, back when I was a little kid, they didn't ask you to be always high, they said thank you and goodbye. <laughs> And I was thinking, do not say that to me that way. I don't wanna have a nice day. No, 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 the sun going down luridly over the sea. Why don't, you, why don't you have a day like a kid with big eyes holding a puppy down by the ocean? I don't want to have a No, 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 I don't, I don't, no, I don't, no, 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 I'm going to do one more song, then there'll be a little intermission, and you can all get to know each other. A lot of you probably do already. I've always done one cool thing about my job, uh, bopping around like I do, is I get all these cool people together, and then they get to know each other, stuff happens. So I hope some of, some of, you, some of you probably should fall in love. I know some of you have been putting that off. <laughs> it's kind of a rainy night out there, you know, spring is coming. Oh, love, start some new businesses, you know, I think we're going to have to take care of a lot of that stuff ourselves, the way things are looking. <laughs> so do all that stuff, and, um, oh, there's some units for sale, too. All, actually, the only unit I've got is a little tape, uh, my latest tape, this one i got left called Down In There, and there's some of those for sale. It's my last night of the tour, so I'm going to declare a fire sale. <laughs> and, uh, there's those tapes, there's a box of them back there, I'm, I'm going to sell them for five bucks each, so, uh, um, yeah, that's all I've got is that one table. The new, I have a new unit coming out, and uh, actually it's probably out today, I think, actually, or tomorrow. Isn't today the 15th? This is the official release date of my new unit, which is called Dream Cafe. And uh, so that will probably be here by the next time I get back. <laughs> my records move slowly around the country. We have an independent uh, distribute, we have a little independent record label, Red House Records independent label and uh, we have warehouses full of dignity <laughs> and integrity and we get the records around by uh, nice people pushing wheelbarrows <laughs> Stopping to plant gardens and do a little community organizing. So they move our product around the country. <laughs> Well, now after all that, what should I play? I don't know. <laughs> I'll do you the murky title cut from the new unit.
bring there beside the dress All the things I want from me I never could express I thought I saw you once in Munich But you slipped away I'm in the corner with the coffee It's a dream cafe I didn't say anything stupid My lover never once looked bored Soldiers come and smear with lipstick The last day of the war The band divided up the money The drummer could not stay He said he's gonna meet us later At the Dream Cafe When you turn from the window In your worn out slip Put your eyes to my fingers As the ceiling drips I just could not leave you I heard a motorcycle pull away Yes, I'll meet you after midnight At the Dream Cafe Flowers now on the street And the new moon just above They tore down all the houses Where we used to make love But they've been long abandoned When we went there anyway I can still smell the lilacs In the corner of the dream cafe Fantasy. I heard you cry out someone's name And maybe it was me But later as we walk It seems so far away Am I the man you thought you met At the Dream Cafe Fighting ten years, do you really have to go? Couldn't you reconsider? Do it real, real slow. I like living with you. I don't care what you say. I don't care who you meet. Let the dream cafe. Seems to promise more than friendship can endure. You spelled it out in black and white. My eyes saw shades of gray. So I sit alone tonight at the Dream Cafe. Out loud, I could be to you, you could be to me, just another face in the crowd. The plane don't leave till midnight. Come with me today. There'll be plenty of time to be alone at the Dream Cafe.
Thanks for watching. I'm going to do it. Thanks.
do. I still need a little more monitor if I could get it, please. I don't want to. Oh, there we go. Those are really interesting looking monitors. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a series of tweeters. <laughs> like something I'd make myself. Uh, <laughs> I did this. <laughs> 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 I'll forget it. Things 
so many years of making do with the cheapest car. But the love, the love, the love, it was not the cheapest car. Oh, it was riches, 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 any we would ever find. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you people watching TV, you're lucky that you're staying home there. You know, watching TV and eating pretzels and uh, reading Mechanics Illustrated. Uh, parts. This is what it's like at a, at a real good. <laughs> I spent the tent from the upper tent of the car. Look like the stars of the head don't know who you are, but when it glanced to my eyes, I saw just a song, surprise, a trip. Just the bumps and the day, all this stuff we're gonna be lit. Without a dime, time and money, you got his time to see Out on the corner with the nine day beard and the bright red eyes, oh yeah. Rum, 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 I'm gonna get my million while well, I am still young, but tonight When it's had a few, his eyes are different than his tummy, he said we're free Just the bump and some day you fall, my stuff is done and I'm left Without a dime, but the time and money, when all you got is time and I can see me Out on the corner with the nine day beard and the bright red eyes gonna hit Hey, hey, mama Tremble and the earth might give you can't hide it in a rubble or a London fog. Can't hide it in a mansion with an imported dog. No matter how we plan and rehearse, we're at pink slips, mercy in a paper universe, we're free. Just a bum, some big fall out of stuff you don't need to work. Without a dime, you tell me money when all you got is time and we can see us. Out on the corner with the land, they build and they bright red eyes, okay. Hey, 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 come on, man, help me out. Pity on me out, man. Come on. With a quarter or something. I gotta get on the bus here in St. Paul, man. I gotta get down to Mickey's dining car. I gotta meet my friend Jimbo. He owes me 17 bucks to so get my money. I'll be straight, you know. I gotta, but I gotta get down there right away, you know, because Jimbo, he's, he's gotta get over to South St. Paul and do a little business with his friend Larry. Uh, that's what's going on. I, can you just hang on, man? I'm just trying to explain what's going on here. See, Larry, Larry, it's, uh, it's kind of like the domino effect, you know what I mean? Larry, he's got, he's, he's got a rush too, because he, he has to meet his Aunt Wanda. She's coming in on a bus from Cedar Rapids just to have a gallbladder operation. So everybody's like in a hurry, you know what I mean? So that's why I, got, I swear I need a port to get on the bus and get down. I wouldn't run down there. I'd, I'd walk, I'd run. But uh, these shoes I got there, they're no good for walking in the snow. I didn't know it snowed in St. Paul in June. Yeah, so you can just tell me I was a quarter man and say, Changed my life all around, you know. Get that 17 bucks. On it. I'll be alright. Uh, how about, uh, where you going, man? How about a dime then, you know? Just help me out a little bit here. A dime, you know? I'll get the other 15 cents. So. But hey, man, come on. Uh, nickel. <laughs> Just like me, man. The man of sorrow is a with grief. 
stands in line waiting for relief to attend. It wasn't always this way, one bad little thing happened, one bad little day. Heartbreak is bad teeth and a sour smelling. Lips when a can and a cheap old tent in this place. Just the bumps and the funds, stuff will come when you were left. Without a dime, time and money, all you got is time when you see him. Out on the corner with the nine day beard and the bright red eyes going, hey, 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 come on, let's Hey, 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 Just, 
Chief Joseph, I probably don't have to tell you about. I thought, you know, I didn't know where I was buried. I was driving from from uh, Vancouver to uh, down to Omac, and then I went from Omac down to uh, the Tri Cities, and I went to this little town where uh, Chief Joseph was actually buried, and I stopped there. Oh. And uh, the people had stopped, many people had stopped at this uh, little broken down grave there. Left presents, so I did too. I don't know what I'll do with those finger picks, but I'll <laughs> <laughs> There's only so many times you can eat that rubber food. So y'all gonna say, well, it's all there is, I'm eating it. I guess it must be good. Only so many times you can sit there and watch the TV. Take your task and think it's stupid that you're somehow free. America will eat you. America will eat you. America will eat you. Oh. There's only so many times you can be treated like dirt at the airport or the bank. You're all gonna say, yeah, you're right, I'm a bum, I'm a dog, I'm a rose, thank you, thank you, thanks. Only so many times you can see some slick jerk with a black guy. So you all gonna give it up and go to sleep. Slip into your little pot, America will eat you. America will Little morsels on the corporation's fork. If we show up with the red bits and bites and flatten us like pork, and America will stretch your mom. Show us the white teeth, it's only when it's much too late. See the cancer of America will eat you. America will eat you. Be next. <laughs> ah. Get him in a time magazine, turn him into clowns. Mommy old, daddy old. There is that poetry. What do you got next? Hippies. <laughs> ah. Stick him out in the woods where he won't bother anybody. <laughs> Over the counter culture. No, 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 no. I kind of like the Tiger Ball and good stuff. What do you got next? Alternative music? <laughs> ah. That was good. Went too much of it. I'm still kind of hungry. Yo, no, no, no. Everything has a number and we all must drink our cup All I ask is to know when my number's up Looking at these corpses talk and laugh it up on TV All I want is to never have to ask the Lord which corpses be America will eat America will eat
Lord. <laughs> Cool remove, put me on the cool remove, put me there, and forever let me stay one cool remove away. One cool remove from the things that hurt me, one cool remove. From the sea and the city. Mm, I see it all as a passion play. One cool remove away. One cool remove from the white sun. Rising like a cloud above the land.
this is the talent we got here. You can't go 12 through here, man. <laughs> what are you dreaming? Cash. Taste the little love of the summer. 
Taste a little of the summer Taste a little of the summer of my life I'm gonna put it all in the jar She got magic in her, you know what I mean She puts the sun in the rain and The green beans, peaches on the shelf Potatoes on the bed, supper Everybody come on in Taste a little of the summer Taste a little of the summer Taste a little of the summer My grandma put it all in the jar What with the snow, the economy and everything Thank God to stay down here and eat until spring Pizzas on the shelf, potatoes in the bed Supper ready, everybody come on in and taste Taste a little of the summer, taste a little of the summer, my grandma put it all in the jar. Oh, down where I come from, you know, where I was born, uh, that's where you know what's going on. I guess that's what home is. Home is where you know what's going on. It doesn't mean you like it. But you get it, you know, you get it, you know. How to make the basic moves in life From down around a tumble where it's born a tumble I, well, I know how to make the basic moves in life Words are almost unnecessary You can just look at somebody and all kinds of information Goes back and forth That's what home is People talk funny down there in uh, Southern Iowa Not what you'd expect, you know a lot of the Midwest is a kind of flat speech, yeah, kind of deal, but uh, they don't talk that way down around half of our It's kind of like the last little lap of the lake of the south or something comes up that far. The music come up the river there. People talk funny. People say, well, I ain't gonna worry about it. I ain't gonna do about it anyhow. They get excited about funny things, you know. I was down there visiting my grandpa once and carbide salter called up. It was uh, about 400 pounds of salter. Brother there, carbide and his brother Benny. Benny made his living for many years going down to Texas and uh, various places in the southwest and catching snakes and bugs, poisonous bugs. That was Benny would do that. Carbide was the gardener of the bachelor brothers. About Good solid three, 350 pounds there. It's overalls, that was his wardrobe. I was down there once and Carbide called up my grandpa. Carbide said, Harold, I don't know what happened. Fucking just did both the damn thing. Just blew up on that. Would you come over if he could? Right as the grandpa's falcon, a 64 aqua blue in very good shape, by the way. Went to him over there to the Salter Brothers place over there in Dallas, right by the Des Moines River. See what was happening. Carbide was standing out front doing the sad fat man dance. Pieces of pumpkin, you know. He explained to us with a tear in his voice that I've been raising this one pumpkin to be the champion pumpkin at the Van Buren County Fair large vegetable contest. He took all the other blossoms off the vine, just let the one pumpkin go watered and watered and fed it all kinds of stuff with the chickens and the goats. And Pumpkin was doing good, you know, and then they went out that morning and it just it blew up. You know? so, <laughs> his theory was it just had been, he, it been growing too fast, you know. It was, it was growing so fast, it was expanding from within, faster than the sun. Very good. It just blew up on my hair now. Well, I, you know, I was a, a little cynical at that age, and I, I was probably like 18 or 19 years old. And I, I thought, well, geez, you know, Blow up. And then a couple of boys came through here, 10 or 12 years old, and jumped on that pumpkin just like I would have looked at Come on, let's do Jim from Solid's pumpkin. It's bigger than Dog House. Let's do a pop. But I don't know, maybe it blew up. It's a funny world we live in. You know? All kinds of things happen, and most things that happen really we have no explanation for. I used to love to go down there when I was a kid, you know, to see my grandparents come on up over that last hill. My mother would drive, it was her 
folks we're going to see. She'd be driving. We had a brand new Ford. It had a T-Bird engine. It was a two-tone hardtop convertible. It would go fast. My mother would drive it like 75 out of one of those gravel roads and hills while she's putting her lipstick on, looking in the rearview mirror. I was impressed. Come <laughs> skid into the front yard in a cloud of dust with a horn. Often, and grandma would come out of the house and doing a jig. She was Irish. She was rag things she wore in her head, flying back in the wind. And then you know it was the holidays, it didn't matter it was when it was, sometime in November or December, it was holidays to see my grandma do that jig and the dust roll into the front yard. And all the ants would come out of the house too then There should be some term for that, for a group of buxom ants. My ants were buxom. There should be some term, like a pride alliance. You know? Something, an impression of Wasn't a stance, I don't know. some term. They would all come out of the house. Uh, it was about 12 or 13 of them, roughly the same number of uncles. <laughs> It's just the way it was. All my aunts, they were just big buxom women, you know. That's a typical Southern Iowa couple, really. It was a big buxom woman and a little tiny skinny guy. It was, it was cool down there. That's just the way it was supposed to be. My aunts, they'd come out of the house and grandma. When you were a kid, get out of the car and it was kind of a gauntlet you had to run before you were free. <laughs> free. Like only a kid can be free. A kid can be free. But you had to do this deal first thing. You get out of the car and one of those ants would grab you and pull you right down in between there. <laughs> you try to be a tough guy, a tough boy. You say to yourself, I'm gonna be alright. I'll get out of here, I know that I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> I can't breathe or nothing, but I'll be all right. Yeah, I'll be all right. Nobody ever got bosom to death, I know. <laughs> Just when you begin really panicking, it lets you go and grab the next one. The next one to grab you, spinning out across the yard in a dream of bosoms and perfume. <laughs> I was just right at that age, you know, when I was pretty curious about what it'd be like to be down in between there, but it's too much knowledge all at once. I mean, you know, man, like, well, if you were lucky, the last one would grab you, let you go, and you'd be at the edge of the yard, which was also the edge of the woods, and us boys would form a pack and we would go into the woods. We'd take off, we're free. Free. We'd have wild adventures all day long, chasing possums. Playing in the rusted out old truck down by the creek, daring each other to run across Parsons Pass to where Parsons Bull was. They already killed 24 boys when they were <laughs> Go ahead, man. Come on. Let's talk about how fast you are. Come on. Run on across there. I don't see him. Ah, there's could be horns there, but I don't think so. It'll be all right. Go ahead. You talk. You see, you're so fast. Go on. Come on, man. Wild adventures all day long. It seemed like a long day, but all of a sudden it seemed like a short day. Big grandma come out in the back stoop, hollering. Summer's ready, you boys, come on in now. We took off like a shot, we never questioned it. We took off, ran back across the woods, down through the pasture, up to the holler out here behind the back door. We skidded to a stop outside of the back porch light. It was a yellow back porch light. It made a little circle. We put on the brakes, skidded to a stop right outside the circle that light. We stood there quivering, not knowing we were starving. We wanted to go in and have supper. But well, it wasn't really dark yet, that was the deal. You had to go in when it was dark. It wasn't dark, it was adult dark. This is about 15, 20 minutes before kid dark. Huh? They got weak eyes, you know, and they've been sitting around inside all day. It looks different when you're sitting inside the world. It's a different place, looking up through a window, sitting inside, drinking coffee all day, yak, 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 talking about somebody's operation. They couldn't see it. But we were hungry. We wanted to go in. Grandma was just wise one. That's where all the wisdom that we got really, such as it is, it is. Uh, all the wisdom we've got really in the world that I'm aware of it comes from the grandmother's hand of death. That's where it comes from. She was wise. She just stood there with that back door open and this cloud of aroma would come out. You could see it. We stood there and you could see it come out of this little cloud of Aroma from fried chicken and chicken gravy and fresh homemade bread and corn and beans and maybe some peach pie. It came out and it headed 
tortoise consciously. <laughs> the evening air saw us there and it came down to get us and we stood there. Transfixed and the first boy hit would get this goofy look on his face. <laughs> he would say, uh, I'm going in. <laughs> I don't feel like staying out anymore. I'm going to go in there and buy it and see that way. Which was a great act if you knew what you were doing. And he would turn and break from the pack and run up the hill and that would do it to him. The spell of us would try. We'd all be right behind him. We'd go running in through the back door, chicken and milk and boys and bread and dogs and everything. Was flying. And when I go down to see Grandma, I gain a lot of weight. Where their hands is plate after plate. Cans the pickles sweet and dill and the songs. Purple will in the morning dew and the evening moon. And I feel I gotta go see her soon. Just can't cause I buy it. The store ain't got the summer in it anymore. You bet grandma is sure as you're born. I'll take some more potatoes in the thunderstorm. Peaches on the shelf, potatoes in the bed. Summer ready, everybody. Come on in. Taste a little love the summer. Taste a little love the summer. Taste a little love the summer. My grandma put it on. Wash my eyes that I may see Yellow return to the willow tree Open my eyes that I may hear The river running swift and clear
Did you wake me up at midnight? Or was it just a dream? Or did we meet in hell or heaven or somewhere in? kids record there should be a lullaby in this one.
shit can do <laughs> One day so might as well go to sleep Might as well go to sleep I've said about all One day he said So you might as well, might as well go to sleep <laughs> Get up is such a trial, but you might as well go to sleep. You might as well go to sleep. Oh, I know that you are wild. You are my child, but you might as well, might as well go to sleep. <laughs> Nothing on TV, the VCR's busted, and all your little friends are sometimes. It's just me and you, and I'm sleepy too. Let's find out what our dreams are gonna be about. And you, done about all. <laughs> one you can do one day so much. Go to sleep, by your might as well go to sleep. And I've said about all. One day can say so you might as well might as well go sleep mm, you might as well might as well go sleep close that line you might as well might as well go to you already had it drink of water you might as well might as well go to sleep I don't know what would Hey, I'm sweetheart. If you rode your bicycle off the roof of the garage and had a board, and I was still a barrel and flipping hit the moon, and the moon flew into pieces, and you were still on your bicycle riding on a piece of the moon down towards the ocean, it'd be like a lot of ramifications to the whole situation, but I think we should work on it tomorrow. It won't be a big day. You might as well, might as well, might as well, might as well go to sleep. Mm, you might as well. Might as well go sleep. Thank <laughs> you.